You recently had a baby like within the last week and you want to know how much housework or activity you can be doing each day. And really this depends on the mode of delivery. If you had a C-section, it's going to take longer to recover from and it may take you a little bit longer before you can resume normal activities. Generally speaking, after having a C-section, you shouldn't lift anything heavier than your baby or perform any household chores that cause a lot of strenuous pulling, tugging, or stretching. Like vacuuming would be a good chore to assign to your significant other. But if you feel like it, you can get up and move around and do basic things. And in fact, you should, because the more you move around, the faster you'll recover. In that immediate, immediate postpartum period, like in the first few days when you're still in the hospital, you're probably going to experience a lot of pain, but your doctor will prescribe pain medication for you. And if you have to medicate yourself to move, do it because moving will help so much. In addition to healing, it also helps to prevent complications like blood clots. You should, however, not start to exercise with the intention of getting your heart rate up for prolonged periods of time until your doctor's giving you the green light. And after a C-section, this is usually around eight weeks. And after a vaginal delivery, it's usually within about six weeks or so. As far as activities you can perform after having a vaginal delivery, it's just basically dependent on how you feel. If you feel really good and you feel like you can do light household chores and you know a couple loads of laundry, if you even feel like going on an outing, that's totally fine, but it's important to take rest periods throughout the day to make sure that you're sleeping as much as possible with a baby and that you're easing your way back into physical activity. After a vaginal delivery, there are a few things that you can do right after, and this includes walking. Walking is actually really good, but again, you don't want to do it with the intention of getting your heart rate up. Just a stroll around the block a few times and then slowly increasing the amount of time you walk will actually be good for you, and it will be good to get out. You can also start doing mild crunches a week or two after delivery. Now, you don't want to do anything serious because your abs are really weak. They were stretched to their max during the pregnancy. And it's important to do what you can to start to strengthen your core again, because until you do, your back is bearing the brunt of everything you do. So you can start with mild crunches and ease your way back up to more vigorous exercises. In addition, you can also do Kegel exercises, and these help to strengthen your pelvic floor. They're excellent actually before and after you have the baby. This is what you do when you're stopping the flow of urine or when you're holding it when you have to go really bad. So you just do a certain number of sets and reps of these throughout the day, and this will be very beneficial in strengthening your pelvic floor again after having a baby. If your doctor gave you specific instructions before leaving the hospital about activity restrictions, be sure to listen to and follow their recommendations. And if you have more questions about what you can and can't do, talk with them, and based on their knowledge of your situation, they'll be able to give you tailored information and advice. If you have more questions in the future for me, feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Intermountain Moms and recommend us to your friends and family too.